Okay, hi everyone. Um, I'd like to share our warm ups. This is based on the Tai Chi for Health warm ups uh, 12 joints, all gentle, all simple. Um, I just want to share and provide something for all of you. If you've been lacking your exercise, if uh, you need something, these are considered Tai Chi Qigong exercises. They warm up the body. Uh, we look at six major joints. We start with the neck and then we go to the shoulders, and the spine, the waist and pelvic areas, the knees, and then finally the ankles. Okay. I'm going to run through the whole warm-up set we do as, as a seated. And this is what I do for my Lanakila Seniors, uh, Lanakila Multi-Purpose Senior Center, and for some of my other classes. So miss all of you, uh, hope you enjoy this, hope it helps you. Okay. Extend your legs away from your body. Get nice and straight and relax. And then slowly drop your hands, bring your hands up and down. Imagine they're going through your body, flushing, moving. Just removing all the blockage, float it into the ground. Pour it into the ground. One more time, breathing in and out. Put the tip of your tongue on your upper palate behind your teeth. Imagine a nice violet cloud way up in the sky. Pour it down through you. Keep all your joints open. Perfect posture, but relaxed. Rest your hands on your lap. Just close your eyes just for a little while. Relax your breathing. Breathe from the stomach. Breathe from the abdominal areas. Drop your chin. Imagine a thin thread attached to the top of the head, just back of center about where the giddy giddy is. As it gently pulls the head up, it causes the chin to drop and the neck to come back a little. You can feel the neck pulling up. Your shoulders should be down and rounded a little to the front. And then let go of your breath. But as you let go of your breath into your stomach, relaxing, don't slouch. Keep the body nice and straight and expanded. Expand from the pelvic joints outwards. The legs slowly pressing and surging into the ground. Lightly contacting the ground, no resistance. Always check your breathing and relax. Gently open your eyes and we'll begin. Bring your hands to the side, hanging straight down, palms forward. And as you inhale, gently lift your hands, feel your shoulder blades rise, expand. And fold in while breathing in. And turn and exhale and lift the sternum up. Tilt the sternum up. Drop your hands, drop your head as you're exhaling. Relax and begin again, breathing in. And fold your arms and exhale and down. And in. And out. And down and in and out and down and in and out and down Nice and gentle, taking your time. Feel your neck slowly opening up. And each time you breathe out, and each time you dip your head down, you can feel it slowly pulling on your spine until it pulls all the way down to your tailbone, through your sacrum, opening up each vertebrae. 
warming up your spine and down good number two pick up one hand you can follow me I'm picking up my right hand left hand between my belly button and my waist eyes looking right over my fingertips and breathing in and turning your head looking far over your fingertips and out let the bottom hand wash up through the arms eyes looking just over the fingertips scanning the horizon breathing in and out fingertips lightly stretched the pelvic expanded and breathing in and out feel the center of the palm washing up through the arm from the center of the elbow to the center of the arm up through the center of the middle finger the lower hand keeps on moving it keeps on falling try to turn just the head but don't lock the waist let the body follow and last time breathing in and out bring the ball to the center right in front of the throat breathe in think of the nice large breath think of your shoulder blades think of your throat open no restrictions no restrictions in any of your communications verbal nonverbal you can express yourself fully and slowly lower so that was for our neck turn the palms fold the elbows and we'll start with our shoulders slowly squeeze the center of of the shoulder blades the lower center corner in towards each other then pull them up turn the palms and pull shoulder blades forward and down and turn the palms everything relaxed just the shoulder blades breathe naturally and you'll find yourself breathing in as you go up and exhaling as you go down breathing in just taking your time arms hanging right at the side and out and turn your palms make sure you get a nice rotation in your shoulder joints relax and pull your shoulders forward and then up it's not your shoulders but your shoulder blades focus on that one point in the, in the inside bottom corner of each scapula stretching them and then squeezing them together slowly slowly remember if anything hurts or feels uncomfortable just stop relax take a break make the movement smaller if you have any questions contact me and down relax and do one side I like to start with the left side but it really doesn't matter pull the shoulder blade make sure the other hand is relaxed make sure the body is nice and straight but relaxed whenever you can add the tantin breathing into this this is Dr. Lam's energetic breathing method that he distilled down from another practice to make it safe and simple and all you have to do is use your imagination come forward so from the center the center of your body about three fingers or three inches below your belly button and right inside as you breathe in imagine a little pearl a little white pearl rising as you breathe in up through the center of your body to the top of your crown on the other side as you exhale you drop that little pearl down and it flows back down to that center we call that center the tantin so as you breathe in it rises to the top of your head and as you exhale it falls back down but at the same time it falls you gently squeeze up the pelvic floor as Dr. Lamb likes to say 
just thinking about it is enough. It's a very subtle, subtle movement. You just have to think about it. As you relax and you do this, you might feel a little ticklish feeling at the root, at the perineum. Just pull that shoulder blade open. You want to stretch all those muscles under the shoulder blade, all the way down and relax and then do two sides, squeeze back and roll up and take your time slowly. Can't move too slow, just too fast. And then come front to back. When those movements are so big, and they really stretch out those muscles nicely. So you just make loose circles for a little while. Just kind of flop your arms. Notice my shoulders are down, elbows are down. And then we slow down. And we add the breath back in. We put the qigong back together. Breathing in and out. Breathing in, relax the chest, relax the breathing, and out. Notice my palms are turning the entire time. Fingertips no higher than the top of the head. Shoulders down, elbows in. Add the turn. The palms are still circling to the front of the body while the waist turns. If you turn one way, then one hand comes forward, one hand comes back. Add one turn, add two turns, add three, add as many turns as you want. Loosen up the spine, loosen up all the joints. Try to add the tantin, breathing in. Breathing in and rising and exhaling and falling and gently squeezing the perineum, gently squeezing the pelvic floor. Try that again, breathe in rise to the crown and exhale and sinking breathe in rise to the crown exhale and sinking and squeeze the pelvic floor and relax yeah, just let all the tension go so we move to the spine we go one hand up one hand down keep the elbows bent and stretch the shoulder blades as you stretch the shoulder blades the body will turn a little and you want to breathe in as you stretch up. Nice deep breath, expand the lower abs and gently let go. Let the bottom hand wash up through the arm. Breathing in and out. Taking your time, relaxing. Feel the presence of the palm washing through the arm. And out, always gentle movements, it's safe, it's slowly warming up the body. Imagine each vertebrae expanding and relaxing and coming back into perfect alignment. Use your imagination, use your mind, use the E. Deep breath, you can feel the lumbar expanding, create a lot of room for your organs. And one more time. When you do these on your own, you can do sets of threes, three left, three right, or you can do six all together. Or you can just do as many as you think you need. Move at your own pace, but don't rush. Then turn your palm towards you, drop it straight down. The other hand washes the outside and it lifts and the other hand falls and they both stay right in the center and you slowly turn your waist and turn your upper palm, breathing in and expand your shoulder blades away and exhale. Tuck the lower elbow, tuck the, tuck, I'm sorry, tuck the top elbow down through the center, washing the outside, washing the outside of the arm. Keep the palms right in the center, relax as you turn and expand, breathing in and when you're ready, exhale. Feel how the body pulls back to the center by itself. Try that again. Turn. Keep the hands right in the center. Breathing in and out and in 
If you need to take another breath, relax and just breathe and out. I'm going to turn three times, so turn your waist, nice big movement to learn and turn and turn. Relax and expand and down three times. One, two, three. Four times. One, two, three, four. Notice how I turn from the center. And four times, and I turn and it drills the hand up. Two, three, four. The more turns you have, the, the hands just start wiggling. One, two, three, four, five. Deep breath, five times again. One, two, three, four, five. And finally, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And come back to the center. Hold the ball right in front of the heart. Think of the sun in your chest, warm, glowing, putting out energy, connected to the sun in the sky. Sun in your chest is warming up your whole body. Imagine rays of the sun going through every cell of your body, traveling through the nervous system, circulatory system, lymphatic, through your heart, cleaning out your blood vessels, going through every organ and every cell in your body. Think of your breath and your shoulders moving as we do the in and out. Think of the sun breathing in and out and in and out. Do a third time and in and out. Turn the palm. I like to start with my left palm on top and my right hand underneath. And as I breathe in, I turn my waist, keeping my palms right in the center, holding that ball, holding that energy ball. Deep breath, expanding the spine. And reverse. Turn the palm over. Don't worry how you turn the palm over. Just gently rotate. Rotate the ball. And out. The palm could scoop a little or could just flip over. Breathing in. Notice how your spine, your whole body follows the tantin, follows the waist. One joint follows the joint before it. You're creating a spiral. Breathing in as you turn. Expanding, opening, stretching out the spine. Deep breath. Sometimes you might get a light adjustment in the lower lumbar. Release and last time breathing in and out. Hold the ball, height of the solar plex. Breathe in. Feel yourself full of confidence, walking on water, standing on the stage, no stage fright. Everybody moves for you. And slowly lower your hand. Bring your feet back in under you. I'll turn to the side. So instead of from here, we're going to bring our feet back underneath. We're going to walk in place. Okay, as we lower down to our, to our pelvic joint, our waist joint. Okay, and these are all seated. These are all seated modifications from the standing. There's a standing form too. Okay. So we're going to practice the palms. Imagine your palms just resting on water. As you drop your shoulder blade and all the joints in your arm to your fingertips relax. Imagine you're pulling that water up, drawing it up like a siphon. Drop your shoulder blade and gently bring it back into the ground, pouring the chi back into the earth. Try that one more time. Breathing in, totally relaxing the upper body. No tension in the upper body. And down. And we're going to add the leg. Pick up either the left or the right leg. I usually start with the left. So breathing in and step forward. 
and then gently press that leg into the ground until the back leg can rise. Hands are still falling and then slowly switch. Pick up the front leg straight and then back. Back leg up and forward. Gently extend and press that leg into the ground until back leg picks straight up. Pick the knees straight up. Take all the pressure off the knees. Breathing in and out naturally. And exhale. As we're staying at home more, you might not be moving around as much. You're not getting that motion and exercise in your pelvic, in your hip. So these lower body exercises, these warm-ups, they're really warm-ups, but they're hidden exercises in between to strengthen and tone become really important. Take your time. Relax your upper body from the sternum and up. Nobody can see the upper body move. That's your goal. You have to relax and expand, feel that gossamer thread that silk thread gently holding your head up and pulling and stretching your neck and your vertebrae, pelvic expanded. Do one more and we'll come back to center. Breathing in and then back, hold the ball. I'm going to turn my left foot out and just drop my knee and turn my palms to the right and either imagine you're sliding your hand straight up a wall. Turn your waist and don't overextend. Just enough to feel the joints open and come back. Turn the other leg and turn to the other side. I like to imagine you're rolling a ball straight up in front of you. And to help you remember where your hands go, just follow the direction of that front leg. So if you're on this side, it goes straight out following this leg. If you're on this side, you're straight out following that leg and turn your waist. Don't overextend, don't lean. Just turn and, and reach and feel everything expand and then come back. So hold the ball right in front of the Tantin. Drop the left, turn to the right and breathe in as we stretch. Turn the waist, look to the front, and relax, and come back to the center. Left leg comes back, right foot turns, breathing in, rolling that ball straight out, and before it runs away, you draw it back in. Taking your time, thinking of the move. Feel that ball rolling, you gently pushing it away, and then bringing it back. Breathing in and out and in and out and in and out. Bring the ball back under the belly button. Think calm and relax. Kidneys are relaxed and breathe in and out. Think of the breath and the shoulder blades. A third time. Turn the palms. We want to warm up our knees. So we're going to pick up one leg, put the knee straight up, same time in coordination. Pick up the fist and then push the heel and the fist straight out to the center. Upper body is still, doesn't drop, and lift, and bring it back, and come down together, hands and feet together. Other side, picking up together, pushing the heel out, gently, just letting the hamstring, the back of the leg stretch out, then lift. As you lift, the hand starts turning and coming back. Try to keep the upper body nice and upright and expanded. Take your time. Doesn't matter if you're one inch off the ground or if you level with the ground or if you can press and kick up to your shoulders. If you cannot keep your upper body still and relaxed 
then it's too high. One more time, the heel and exhaling and lift. Nice and slow. Feel which muscles are working, which abdominal muscles, which, which hip and pelvic muscles, leg muscles are working to accomplish this. Okay. And down, and then up again. And from here, we like to go to heel and then pump the toe and turn the waist. The fist reaches towards center and it comes back. Again, breathing in. And as you press, exhale and turn, notice the fist and the foot line up right in the center. As you press the foot, you get a little bit more extension. And you start to warm up the ankle one more time. Take your time. This time only the toe. Just reach with the toe. Lift and come back. And one more time, lift with the toe. Reaching and come back. And you can do a few more of that. And those we're gonna stop right now, relax. And then we're gonna do our ankles. So ankles are easy, you go at a 45 degree angle, heel and toe. Upper body above the sternum again, doesn't move. You don't want it moving up and down. And to involve the whole body, imagine like you're reading the newspaper. So if you're, you're having breakfast, you're reading your, your newspaper, your morning paper, nobody knows what you're doing. So come to one side, heel, and then slowly relax the upper body. Don't let it move. And gently expanding all the joints. Up and down up and down and do three or more times whatever you feel you need always remember to listen to your body and be safe if it doesn't feel comfortable stop take a break if you don't understand it stop rest and ask go back to the other side and do the small toe and large toe it's a nice gentle exercises if you pick the knee straight up and down, you're slowly going to tone and actually improve the pelvic joint and the muscles that pick up your leg. So even though these are seated, they can help you to walk better. They can help, help you to isolate and pick up your leg so you don't shuffle, so you have better balance. And if nothing else, just to loosen up your joints and get some exercise. And then come back and then just, just shake it out and gently pound. Just really gently pound, stimulate the muscles, the thigh muscles. And don't forget the ITB, the iliotelial bands on the side of the leg, very tough from here. Okay. And then what I like to do is just cross the leg, same side hand, just slides up, other hand holds across, relax and gently pull this over. What we're trying to do, we're not turning the waist or anything. You're just trying to get this leg to wedge out. You're trying to get that leg bone attached to your, to your hip bone to wedge out and stretch those muscles. Stretch those muscles out that are holding, holding the leg to the hip. And on the right side, that are just smashing or maybe smashing your nerve. Just pull it gently. It doesn't take much. It's a very gentle stretch. When you do it one or two times, you might begin to feel a difference. If you have sciatic pain, this might help you. And these are those exercises that they're probably more maintenance, but they help to keep those joints loose. So on the right side, you have that sciatic nerve, size of your finger just stuck in there. If the hip is too tight, right, it's smashing it. The bone or the muscle tissue might just be smashing. The, the sciatic nerve might be inflamed to begin with. Okay, so just loosen up 
everything. So that's our warm-ups for the, that's based on the Tai Chi for Health uh, program. They're very simple, they're very gentle. Um, oh, let's bring everything back. Take your time and breathe. Don't lock your breath. So I'll work on videos to uh, break down each movement. You can, you can study each movement and I try to put the Qigong inside to make them that much more valuable. If you don't have time to, to do the warm-ups and then do a set and do a whole Qigong movement, you could just do the warm-ups and it's all Qigong. Yeah? Why, why separate them? Everything you do should be Qigong. It's just with the mind. All right, thank you everybody. Peace. Be safe. Have a good rest.